On today's ChurchTechCast.com Q&A show, Pro Presenter Latency, a new iMac, Easy Worship to Pro 6, and Webcam Audio. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com Q&A show. This is the show where every week I answer your church tech questions. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Our first question comes from Amal Raj, who asked this on TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Hi, Paul. We would like to have live video from a camera projected on screens without delay. We use ProPresenter 6 on a 15-inch MacBook Pro for this, I have come to know about Blackmagic Intensity Extreme Intensity Shuttle. But what is the time delay with these devices? In some church videos I have seen, like things projected are real time. I would like to know what hardware should we need to get to have to get live real time screens. Thanks. Okay, so here's something that nearly every church tries to do the wrong way. Now, if you've got someone who has a background in broadcast, maybe you're the exception. But when they first get started, nearly every church says, great, we've got ProPresenter, it has this camera feature, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a camera and put it into ProPresenter. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Don't do it that way. What you want to do is you want to take the output of ProPresenter and switch that using a video switcher. That's the right way. That's how you get it without delay because there will be latency in the time that it takes the computer to process the signal. Now, maybe some ways of doing this will have less latency than others, but it gets really annoying when your pastor's hand is on the bottom of the screen, but in real life the pastor's hand is up high. Totally really annoying, especially when the lips don't match. Ooh, crazy annoying. Some people just can't deal with it at all. So the latency really does matter if it's for one element once, That's one thing, but for an hour, two hours, however long your church service is, seeing everything out of sync all the time, I found it annoying with two frames out of sync. And we did that for a couple of weeks before I figured it out, and we had to bypass some stuff, and it was all kinds of crazy, but it was worth doing to get rid of the latency. So... What you want to do is come out of ProPresenter and go into a video switcher. That's the hardware that you need. Next, Jeff Brewer sent me an email, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, and he said, Paul, great job on the training videos. I've learned a lot. Well, thanks, Jeff. I'm glad I could help you. I do have a couple of questions that maybe you can help me answer. First, right now we are a Windows OS-based presentation church using Easy Worship. We're getting ready to migrate to Apple Macs and ProPresenter 6. Do you know of a way to export the song database out of Easy Worship and into ProPresenter 6? There might be some third-party solutions to do this, but the only commonality I know between the two is export to text, import from text. And that may get a little annoying depending on I don't know if Easy Worship will allow you to export the entire database's text if they will and then you can import it as text in ProPresenter that'll be a lot faster I really want to caution you though you might at least on my in my church We get a lot of songs in there, some that were like one-time deals, some that were special arrangements that we never touch again. I really think that if I were you, I would go week by week and build up a new database instead of taking back a legacy database into a new system. 
chances are there's songs you haven't sung in five years in there and you just don't need that in there. So I would do it like that unless, of course, your church is one that's heavily spirit-led. Um, and by that I mean a lot of last-second stuff. If there's a lot of last-second stuff, then maybe you do need a core amount of songs in there. But if you know a couple of days ahead of time, then I would just put them in one at a time. Okay, secondly, I've attached a drawing of our current setup. You'll be seeing this on the screen right now. What would you recommend hardware-wise to accomplish the same setup with ProPresenter 6 using the main display, stage display, and a control surface display? I was thinking a Mac Pro with three Thunderbolt display ports. Am I wrong? Is there another uh, way to do this? Okay, so I'm looking at this and we've got the screen in the upper left hand corner, main screen, screen for main projector two, screen for main projector one. Those go down two projectors and then out to a distribution amplifier that connects to a computer. That should work the same. Then from the computer, we go to a projector for the stage display. That should also work the same way. So just looking at this, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't just swap it out. Now, VGA is a dying technology, so you might want to consider when you're upgrading, switching to, I really recommend SDI as opposed to HD MI or DVI. SDI is much more robust, much more reliable. RG6 is the cable you use, whereas with Balins that send HDMI, it could be CAT5 or CAT5E or CAT6 or something else. Who knows? You know, from manufacturer to manufacturer, it changes. And some Balins, very reliable. Some, not so much. So, I just tend to recommend not doing HDMI balance, even though they seem like the obvious choice. SDI seems rock solid. I sometimes freelance with the local AV company. They rip that stuff in and out on a daily basis and don't have any problems with SDI. But the few times they've tried to do HDMI balance, they've run into problems. So that's why I recommend that. And finally, um, as part of that, I think what I would recommend is an iMac as opposed to the Mac Pro. I think the Mac Pro is overkill for what you need. Now, I'd steer clear of the 5K iMac because even if you're not using them, the pixels on the built-in display, that's a lot that it's pushing around. And you really don't care so much about the pixels on the main display. You care about the pixels on the main out to the projectors. So I'd steer clear of the 5K iMac, but get as much iMac as you can get. Uh, flash storage is actually an SSD, only it's soldered directly to the board, so don't skimp on that. Get as much as you can and uh, as much processor as you can. Uh, depending on the model, you might need to get RAM up front because some models it's soldered onto the board as well. So just get a good, good solid computer, but steer clear of the 5K iMac because you're using it primarily for ProPresenter. Okay, and finally, Daniel, uh, in response to an article I wrote on churchtechtoday.com, says, thanks for the information. It's been of great help. What I'm trying to accomplish is being able to capture video from webcam and a camcorder and being able to put audio into it from an audio mixer which has the mic up close to the speaker. That way avoiding as much possible audio from ambient um, as possible. I did a search query for webcams with an audio aux in but perhaps none have this available or am I just doing the wrong search parameters? Any questions? None have it available. 
because they don't need it. What you need to do is just plug it into the computer and take the audio from the computer and the video from the webcam. That's how you do it. So that's why you just don't plug it directly into the webcam. You just don't use the built-in microphone in the webcam. So um, you might find that your sound card isn't up to snuff. Uh, even something as inexpensive as a Griffin iMic or some other audio uh, device might be a good choice for you. So I hope that answered one of your church tech questions. If it didn't, just ask it below the video. If you like this content, you'll also like my email newsletter, which is available over at trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter. There you can get all kinds of cool church tech tips and tricks and just reply back to any of the newsletters and you can email me directly. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.